We're super excited. We're doing a little pit stop here in Sorrento. Orange tree is growing everywhere you walk. We are walking down the streets of Sorrento. It just feels like a cleaner, prettier Napoli. And it's getting to the point where it went from feeling charming to feeling a bit depressing. <laughs> Buongiorno everybody, it's another morning here in Italia. We are still in southern Italy, but we are making our way down to the Amalfi Coast, guys. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. I had to fight and misbehave, I had to find a way to change, I had to leave to find my way. Got up in a daydream. We're super excited. We're doing a little pit stop here in Sorrento, which is kind of like the town or city that's like um, right between the Mofi Coast and Naples. So it's kind of like an in-between considered both to some extent. Really pretty coastline, the Mediterranean. Lots of great views of the mountains, the water, those pastel colored buildings and houses just on the coast. So we're excited. We're gonna stay here for the night and then head out to check out some hiking in Positano the next day. So we're walking to our Airbnb, dropping off our stuff and we're going to explore. You know it's southern Italy when there's orange trees growing everywhere you walk, even on the sidewalks in the street. You know they gotta be fresh. I just wanna jump up and grab one and snack on it. We made it to our Airbnb. Got our access card. Let's check out our room. Hello. <laughs> look at that floor, everybody. Got a mirror to feel myself. And look at this floor. This is exactly what I would picture near the Amalfi Coast. Beautiful whites and blues and yellows with the wallpaper. Nice little painting of Vesuvio from Naples, Napoli, which we're actually staying. A little kitchen area, which is kind of cool if you want to make some food. Common area, TV, and a little bit of a balcony with some beautiful views. The sun's coming in, it feels so warm and cozy right now. Of the mountains along the coastline of Amalfi, which we're approaching. So we're gonna crash here for tonight, set our stuff down, and then explore, get some food, check out what we can see and do in Sorrento. So guys, we are walking down the streets of Sorrento. So far, it just feels like a cleaner, prettier Napoli, down the street at least. It's really tight, lots of flags hung up. Cool to see the streets of Sorrento, but again, definitely less busy during winter. to this restaurant called Ikura and it's a really fancy Japanese restaurant. Didn't mean to come here underdressed, but hey, we had to find someone that was open that had food we could eat. It also has a really cool ordering system. We order on this little iPad. Let me show you. You just scroll through, can select things, shows the nutritional information, put a little modification, and then order it. From the screen, we decided to order some steamed buns, a little bit of a poke rice bowl. Also, we got some delicious vegetable dumplings and spring rolls. Really picturesque, really nice, although a lot of things are closed. And it's getting to the point where it went from feeling charming and like romantic, like it's only me and Vanessa, to feeling a bit depressing because <laughs> so many shops are closed. I can see the life, the potential of this place to feel alive and vibrant, and it just isn't there at the moment. Still really beautiful, still glad we're here, but just missing a little bit of that life. But we're still determined to have a really good time here in Sorrento, especially before we hop around, go to Pasitano, which I'm sure will be just as dead. And look at the views. We're taking in massive sort of yellowish white cliffs in the background. And we're going to try and check out the scenic attractions in Sorrento. Maybe go for some food and some limoncello at night, hopefully. Maybe some gelato if we're not freezing by then. But either way, it's a gorgeous place, guys. We're going to show you the beauty of Sorrento in the Malfi Coast. Beautiful scenes, everybody. The glorious emotion out here on Sorrento. So we were just wandering along the waterfront 
in Sorrento, and this is a really charming street called Villa Marina Grande. So it's a really gorgeous street lined with what seems to be a lot of the most picturesque, probably the most pricey hotels you can stay in the area due to their proximity to the ocean. And you can have great views of the cliffs, the hiking opportunities behind you as well. And we are settling down here for a little bit at Piazza della Vittoria. It's a beautiful little historic statue. And of course, the views behind me are absolutely jaw-dropping. Vesuvio in the background there. The sun's starting to set a little bit, getting a nice, beautiful orange and yellow hue. Definitely have to check it out. Lots of palm trees, green space around here. Love it. Right inside by this beautiful church, there's a nice little cloister. A little bit of a courtyard. Looks like something out of Game of Thrones again. Really pretty little square, really quiet. Just enjoying some of the beautiful historic parts of Sorrento. So we're at Villa Comunale di Sorrento. And this is probably one of the best places to walk around by the water. Around sunset, the Suvio in the background, and the rest of the coast. The scenic little area by a little park we just passed earlier with some different statues. Really cool, lots of open space. I don't know where we wandered, guys, but it looks like we're in legit a citrus orchard. I feel like we're Adam and Eve right now, walking in the old garden. Birds chirping. So quiet. So many freaking citrus trees. Vanessa, how much oranges can we fit in our backpack? So the sunset is over, everybody. Another really pretty pink church. Before. And after. So we are here in Sorrento getting dinner at this place called Basilico, which means basil in Italian. We just went to this little hole in the wall. Felt like we were chilling in this guy's living room. And I got two vegan burgers, two fries, and two drinks between me and Vanessa. I got limoncello for the first time. It was really good, really strong, really sweet, syrupy. I thought it was really good. But I want to try this place called Basilico, which we are right now, which also serves uh, Corpo Vegetariano, which is like a little cup full of fried goods like vegetables, which I really wanted to try. So we came in here to get it. I also got some spaghetti. I'm already full from the previous place. So I'm definitely entering my eating challenge mode. I'm excited to try some more Italian food in Sorrento. So those were my first impressions and things that I was able to do while in Sorrento. Make sure to check out my next video as I travel to the path of the gods and hike to the beautiful town of Positano. Thanks for watching everybody. Peace.